afternoon please like share comment subscribe and if you're new to the channel please hit the notification bell and today we have ourselves test drive and review with the brand new 2023 tesla model x and the tesla model x i tell you has to be the ultimate family vehicle so let's get right into this video all right so this is the 2023 tesla model x and i can assure you that the brand new 2023 tesla model x build quality has definitely improved it's gotten a lot better from its initial uh production run um, many of you may know that a lot of the first cars had a lot of panel gaps but now with these brand new 2023 tesla model x's they're looking really really good now let's do a quick check of the exterior quality let's take a look over here on the left side let's take a look over here on the right side and as you can tell the car looks beautiful let's take a look over here panel gaps are looking good let's take a look over here at this driver's side panel gaps are looking great beautiful and this is equipped with the new hardware 4.0 see the gaps are looking good over here not that bad okay but we do have a slight issue over here you can see that this panel is poking out a little bit uh, this is very common with Tesla. Sometimes a lot of their cars have uh, panel gaps. But uh, yeah. And many of you may know that the Model X is a very iconic vehicle. And the reason why it's iconic, it has these Falcon wing doors. Now take a look at this. Okay, let's actually press Falcon wing door. Let's uh, see these doors over here. Gotta hit controls, open. Take a look at this. Look at these doors. Wow. What an amazing piece of engineering. Provides you with a fully open, easy to get in access. So you just wanna Turn right in here, and here's a look at the back. The back seat has a lot of leg room, has a screen back here that they've added to the 2023 Model X. Uh, really good quality. It offers the ability for your rear um, seat passenger to uh, have access to their own screen and they can basically uh, perform all the necessary things that they want to even go on YouTube. And I can assure you that this back here, very premium. I do like the quality. Uh, this one is equipped with the cream interior. Um, very nice back here, really nice. And guess what? There's an actual uh, set of seats right, right over here. It's actually down, uh, but there's actually a set of seats right there so this can fit one two three four five six seven uh passengers comfortably um the leg room isn't that bad now let's close this and uh let's go into the um the front seat so the front seat hold on let me turn off this ac the weather is a little bit uh hot today but for the video i'll turn off the ac and let me close these falcon wing doors. Close. Really nice. And the falcon wing doors are engineered to, um, if you're too close to an object, it either won't open or it will open in a way that it pre prevents it from hitting any other object. So these, there's a lot of engineering that went into these Falcon Wing doors. And um, in the beginning, 
when the first cars came out, there was a little bit of issues with uh, um, the quality of the Falcon Wing doors, but I can assure you that Tesla has definitely fixed that. They've improved it, and this car is like flawless. Okay, moving along to the interior. Many of you may know that Tesla has opted to add the uh, um, yoke steering wheel to the X. It's all, it's, I think it first came out on the S, uh, but now it's on the X and it's phenomenal. I can assure you that uh, holding this thing feels like a, a video game actually. And uh, there's a nice screen right here that gives you all your available options. Um, one thing I do like about the Tesla Model X is the ride height position. Um, really, really nice, um, really, really comfy. Um, you definitely feel very safe in this vehicle. Um, there's something about big vehicles that make you feel really, really safe when you're driving. And that's what I really, really like about the Model X. The Model X, um, it's pretty pricey, but um, I tell you, it's worth every penny. You got this beautiful screen right here, 17 inch screen, same screen that they offer on the um, S. And it has the AMD Ryzen chip. And uh, one of the things that Tesla has done to um, improve this vehicle is they got rid of the gear stock. So in order to drive forward with this car, is this a touch up? To reverse, you just touch down. So it's, it's very seamless and really nice. Um, now let's go through the controls this controls everything on your this whole screen here does everything for you there's no buttons on this vehicle except for buttons like the um, hazards that's the only button basically um, so you have a list of options ranging from surge controls pedals su uh, suspension charging autopilot locks lights display trips navigation safety service everything is there anything that you need to find on this vehicle, uh, you can find it in this whole UI system. Um, it's getting a little bit hot in here, so let me put on the AC. I'm gonna put it down a little bit so it doesn't, it's not too, uh, too loud, but uh, it does work and it does work really, really good. Uh, the one thing I'd like about this whole uh, interface is that Everything is responsive. You can really uh, uh, get a, a good sense that they've really optimized this operating system, and there's no lag. Everything works. It's like it's like a it's like an iPad. Definitely would compare this to an iPad. Um, it would really really be cool if Tesla starts making iPads. They have one right in every single car. So why don't they just make one? You know what? Maybe, maybe uh, Tesla should get into the iPad market um, because they are, they actually have a, a really really nice uh, interface, and uh, it probably would make sense. So one of the new things that uh, Tesla has done with this screen is that now this new screen tilts. So if you look over here. It now moves over here to the left side. If you want to move to the right side, it also tilts to the right side for the passenger view. So that's really, really cool. And that's one of the new changes that they've done with the, the whole uh, updated Tesla Model X's and S's. And I hope this eventually comes down to the Model 3. Okay, so the only thing what left to do is to have a test drive. Let's go for a test drive. All right, so let's go for a test drive. So, looks like I got the hazards on. Okay, so let's go right into gear. Whoa! And I tell you, this car is phenomenal. I tell you, the ride quality is amazing. Nothing I can say that uh, would be negative about this ride quality. Um, I do like the fact that your right height position is your position really high and you have this nice clear glass and I can assure you guys that this glass is opted with a uh, I think a UV uh, coating that 
uh, basically prevents the sun from beaming down on you and but it still gives you a beautiful view um, highly recommend this car this car is one hell of a vehicle the the build quality is phenomenal um, like just riding in this car makes you feel like you're in a premium um, vehicle um, like I really love it and you know what I'm gonna check the speed of this car right when these lights turn on I'm gonna see how fast uh, this Model X is and then the Model X is actually one of the fastest if not the fastest SUV on the market it really beats a lot of these ice vehicles and a lot of ice SUVs this car actually is faster than a lot of sedans and sports cars um, this this one model here that I have that I'm using today is it's the long range it's not the plaid the plaid is the one that's the really really fast but the long range in itself is also fast okay so green light let's go whoa look at that wow that launch is amazing what a fast vehicle I tell you this car it the thrill of launching this vehicle never gets old it's really nice um, really like that um, yeah this this car is it's, it's like driving on a roller coaster or riding on a roller coaster a roller coaster on wheels that's what I would call this car um, really nice ride quality is good um, really safe as far as the feel um, uh, the turning is really easy the yoke steering wheel doesn't doesn't uh, make it hard to turn um, it's it's uh, I can turn easily but one, one thing I would would suggest is that you put two hands on uh, the the steering wheel at all times I, I don't think though the the traditional one uh, hand driving would work with this vehicle because of the fact that you don't have the full steering wheel but besides that um, the quality of the steering wheel feels great um, this car is, is, is really nice I, 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 I do like a lot about this car you know and uh, um, it's one hell of a vehicle definitely one hell of a vehicle so um, whoa really really nice really 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 nice like I, I would highly recommend um, uh, this vehicle to anybody uh, especially a family you know what it, it wouldn't be the best car for like a one person but for a car for a family this would be the ultimate family vehicle getting to your destination with seven passengers fully comfortable and they're gonna love this vehicle because there's so much you can do you can go on YouTube you can go on Netflix when you're charging um, the people in the back they have access to YouTube while the car is moving um, so they have a little bit of entertainment back there um, and uh, I, I would highly recommend this vehicle to anybody to anybody like um, I myself um, I don't know if I would go with the plaid model uh, due to the fact that it's it's a it's a lot more expensive, and um, are you getting a lot of value for the plan? I, I I'm unsure because um, you can only use those high speeds during the track. It's not like you're going to be using the high speeds all the time. So I, I don't think that um, um, this car would be uh, reasonable, or the plaid would be reasonable. I think I really think that the, if you're gonna get this car get the long range you know what but anybody that can afford the long range could probably afford the plaid so you know so to, to each your own um, I, I'm really enjoying this this test drive so um, yeah so if you're, if you're thinking about ordering this vehicle highly recommend it um, I'm gonna head back to the Tesla showroom uh, they, they lent me this vehicle and uh, book yourself a test drive highly recommend it all right so thank you for watching take care 
and have a great one.